morning everyone welcome back to another episode of Shimori Lockdown I hope you're all doing well I hope you're all enjoying the videos and I hope you all are getting ready to come and visit us as soon as you can uh, I haven't really spent any time uh, with the elephants yet uh, for you guys so I think what I'm going to do is keep following these uh, tracks and signs left by the elephants any fresh stuff I'll show you guys and then uh, and then hopefully we find them. Enjoy. Have a look at that. That is super fresh. The flies are just arriving. There's a eyed pansy butterfly over there. And there's a... That one over there is a garden inspector butterfly. They'll be arriving onto this dung to uh, draw out nutrients, mineral salts and moisture. This is very, very fresh. If we open this up we can see roughly 60% of it is undigested and what we're able to find on the inside here is there's a complete seed pod that seed pods from a, a scotia a boer bean there's a lot of grass in here undigested twigs and a lot of different seeds there's a seed over there a lot of seeds actually need to go through the internal uh, body temperature of an elephant's digestive system in order for the um, germination process to begin. There we go guys, beautiful breeding herd just coming out into the open clearing. The matriarch in front and adult females, it's always, always amazing to see when elephants are moving uh, from one feeding area to the next or to a watering hole, how the herd has a formation where the females will always have the youngsters on the inside of the herd for protection. The babies will never be far from their mothers. It's gonna, it's nice and quiet as they come past. A couple of them have been throwing mud on themselves down at the at the mud wallow, the watering hole. Helps with cooling themselves down. Helps remove ectoparasites and it's it's also just a lot of fun to play in the mud so elephants feed for about 16 hours a day so they have to eat about six percent of their total body weight in order because they have such a poor digestive system and i suppose if you can't figure out how your trunk works you may as well just put your face in the food Always trailing the, the breeding herds of these uh, young bulls at the back. Thank you for that. that young elephant bull changed the ambient air temperature around me uh, I just want to show you this last little bit here there's a, a dung ball all by itself uh, it's very fresh you can see it's still dark on the outside it's freshly made but there's no dung beetle the dung beetle is further up the road uh, we're on the side of a hill over here a very steep slope there's the fresh dung and I think what's happened is the dung beetle was making the dung ball rolling it away and gravity unfortunately uh, won this battle and the dung ball rolled away from the dung beetle and uh, he's now got to go and expend a whole bunch of energy and make a whole new dung ball he's not going to find this one i don't think and these two young bulls super excited always massive amounts of excitement when they're on their way down to the watering hole always a lot of wrestling a lot of jostling typical young boisterous teenager boys well folks i hope you enjoyed that today spending time with me with the elephants i know i have i've uh, i've been sitting with this big bull elephant for about an hour and a half now and it's 
it's just been the most incredible day sitting with elephants watching their behavior just learning from them how tactile they are how social they are how intelligent they are um and uh yeah it's just really been great so uh give it a like give it a thumbs up put a comment in there if you want to see anything else and come and join us soon we hope uh Hopefully it'll all be over, lockdown will be over and you guys will be able to join us soon. Stay safe.